Hey, it's me, Jess. So it looks like I did another speed build. Surprise! I actually surprised myself. I was on The Sims probably around 10.30 and I thought I would just play around with this split level idea. And come 11 p.m. last night, I decided to start over and record the entire thing. So here we are. Um, it's currently about 10 a.m. and this build, it seems like it took me, I think, about 2 hours and 15 minutes. So it's kind of a long build, which I didn't think it would be. Um, there was a lot of challenges with it and uh, yeah, I did really challenge myself with this. So this is a split level idea that I have been wanting to do for a very long time in The Sims. Uh, so around my house, or at least in the town that I live, there are so many houses that look like this. Um, so with your basic split level house, you come in the front door and you can got either go up the stairs to the main and only level of the house, typically, or you can go down the stairs into the basement, hence split level. With The Sims, that is a little bit difficult. Um, so when you come in this front door, you see that there are two sets of stairs. One does go up to the main level, and the other does go down to the basement. But uh, since you can't really edit, I guess, the terrain or anything of the sort like that in The Sims, you'll see that there's that empty level that serves as the first level technically where the front door is all around it there's nothing um which that really really bothers me and not only that but it makes the house appear much larger than it actually is uh typically these houses are not very large at all and as you can see on this first level here it's not it's not very big either um but I think it worked out fine. So, oh, also, one thing about this build is I did not use any custom content. You guys, you have no idea what an accomplishment that is for me. I almost pulled out some clutter items there, uh, but I didn't. So, to me, this build could look so much better and a little bit more realistic and more decorative with custom content because I really, I do a lot of the custom content for the clutter. <laughs> I love my clutter, I think it looks so real, but um, yeah, so it's fine. Oh, you see right there, I almost did a custom content light switch, which those things are awesome. They really light up a room. So now I'm just in the kitchen here. And I also based this house off a childhood friend, friend's house, who I used to go to all the time. And here at the kitchen table, I just remember it's being very cluttered and she would always do her homework there and there was always paper. So it wasn't really like you sat down and you ate at the kitchen table. It was just kind of a place to throw things, which I think a lot of people's kitchen tables in their houses are like that. My family ours is not uh my mom would not stand for that but i've seen that a lot for some reason which i think is really interesting so yeah this house is based loosely off a childhood friend's house um and basically all the other houses in my town that are just like this because they're all really the same and they just make the outside different or add some kind of random embellishment that makes it just a little bit different but really they're all the same and um i don't know if you guys have seen the movie perks of being a wallflower well they live in a split level home and it's one of my favorite movies probably my favorite movie actually so the first time i saw it it made me think of that friend's house it looks just like it it creeped me out so that goes to show you uh, how similar they all are. So this is based off that friend's house and person being a wallflower. 
so you know. Um, so what this house has is a master bedroom, a child girl bedroom, and a teen boy bedroom. I, that was influenced by the family, the childhood friend as well. Uh, she, obviously, she was a girl, and we were younger, so I made it a child with uh, toys and stuff everywhere. And then she had an older brother who was a teenager, and I remember we would sneak into his room, and it was always, I don't know, teenage boy esque. Dirty, cluttered, dark, all those things. And. So I had so much fun doing her room. You'll see that area in the room where the garage doors stick out, which was terribly annoying. I just, I didn't know what to do about it, you know? Um, so I decided to build a half wall in front of it, and I guess you'll see what I do with that, which I thought it was very creative. Right here, this is where I was dabbling with uh, putting the wall in front of it, like the entire wall, and putting a fake window, but I thought it looked bad. So here's the half wall. And I played around with the idea of it being sort of a puppet show stage, but for it to actually look good, the puppet theater would have to be in the middle. And I would cover the window and it just it didn't look good. So here I am with my idea, which I was so proud. Um, I tried to make stairs out of this. And this is just that marble slab. I think it's like... I don't remember. It has a weird name. It's from the spa pack. And yeah, I thought it was kind of interesting. I've seen some newer rooms like this or like sort of like a platform in your child's room where they can go up there and sit or I did something different in his room so you'll see that too. I am not sure if those items on the platform are usable. I really really doubt that they are because there is a footprint underneath so they would probably just think stuff was in the way because it is. Um, yeah. Here I am with his room. I toyed with the idea of putting a couch. I'm like, oh, that's not realistic. And I just put his bed up there. After I finished the build, I kind of wanted to go back and make it lower to the ground because his half wall is the same height as hers is. And I'm like, well, it didn't have to be that high, but it's fine. I, it's interesting. I don't really like his as much as I like hers, but you know, it, it does it. I have trouble with boys' rooms because I'm not a boy, <laughs> and I don't know. I, I always think that they don't really care what their room looks like, whereas girls usually care about what their room looks like. They want a theme to it. They want it to look a certain way, they want things that are pretty and just look nice, and guys just kinda, I don't know, exist in theirs and stuff goes everywhere. I'm not really sure, that's what I've witnessed at least. Um, and here we have the basement, which I thought looked very, and this is a weird statement, but I thought it looked very basement-y. Um, just some workout equipment, an old computer, you know, stuff like that you find in a basement couch, fireplace, um, yeah, and I was really upset that I couldn't get this hanging basketball hoop to work out, I have no idea why, uh, because this is technically, if you look at it, a driveway, so you're not going to have, um, a basketball hoop on a pole right in the middle of your driveway, because you can't get in the garage if not, but it's the Sims, they don't even have cars, so, ooh, burn. You know what I really would like, even if we don't get cars, are just some really nice decorative garage doors. Like those are the ones that I put were the mural ones where you can paint on it or whatever. Like they look industrial, they look bleh, 
I just don't like them. Um, plus, they do that weird thing where they stick up into <laughs> the next level. Um, plus, one that would go to the bottom of a foundation. Like, obviously, your car is not going to float up that foundation height and then go in your garage. It's just, I don't know, something more realistic because personally, I like to make my game as realistic as possible. My sims, my houses, everything. And one thing I found very interesting about these houses, because I was looking off some pictures, is the roof is just, just like that. It's just one, one piece. It made it easy for me. And here, I was trying to make this area in front of this window in the ground where all the shrubs are, make it look like that bottom level was the basement level, which technically in real life it is, and that would be the basement window sticking out, um, but in The Sims 4, and I think all The Sims, your, your basement has to be completely underground and we can't edit any terrain, which I absolutely hate. Otherwise, I would have uh, modified the terrain to make a hill go up to that window level, but whatever, I just made do. And holy crap, we're at screenshots and I managed to talk all that time. I'm not really sure what I said. Wow, did I really just talk 11 minutes about split level houses? This is what my life has come to. <laughs> well, yeah, here it is, you guys. I really hope you liked it and thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more builds. And also just let me know um, anything else you want to see from me, anything else you want to see me build, or any other type of video because I only have speed builds and I have one review. So if you want to see like my current legacy or anything like that, let me know. Um, also, be sure to follow me on my Twitter, JustPlaySims. Alright, see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.